Any new people? Look like Indonesia. <laughs> okay, how are you doing? How is everybody? Let's do some more plays here, girls, boys. Come over. Do you want to? The kitchen staff or English people, I mean, English speaking, come over. Move it. Yeah. Yeah, there and then here. Here, maybe not. Oh, there, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. If they are shy, I don't mind. Whatever. Okay, huh? Yeah. How is the diet doing? <laughs> Why laughing? Why laughing? It's a serious matter, you know? Why are you laughing? You still eating raw? Yes. Really? Yes. Good for you? Yes. yes. Delicious. You feel good? Yes. Yeah, you can taste the real fragrance of the carrot, huh? For example, eh? Now you know why the, the rabbit looks so cute. <laughs> You're gonna look cute like that, huh? Maybe you grow white hair. Or... <laughs> then we don't have to wear clothes anymore. You like that? Yes. yes, good, good, good. Okay, then we can continue that way, huh? How about the kitchen? Can you bear it? Can you eat it? Yes. No, I mean the kitchen because you you stay long, you know? Can you eat like that every day? Yes, Master. If not, you can cook special for yourself, you know? You decide the fate of everybody. <laughs> so you can do what you want. So it's good? Yes, Master. Yes. You really? Yes. You eat more or less? More. <laughs> really? Yes. Because it tastes good or because hungry? Because more appetite or because it tastes good? Huh? Tastes good. Tastes good? Oh, really? It's better than cooked food. Oh, yes. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah, why didn't you say earlier? <laughs> so the kitchen has less work to do now, less washing to do, Less oil running down your throat and less, uh, less what? <laughs> I thought because raw food you eat less, but you eat more. No, it feels like more, but it's probably not more. Because the raw food, it doesn't shrink, see? And then it, it looks like a big volume. But uh, you chew slowly, yeah? make it all easier to digest. If you chew, you chew more. Okay, huh? Yeah. And then you still have some half cooked anyway. You're only 50% raw foodish. So don't go home and boast, oh, I eat raw in Master House. <laughs> From now I eat only raw. No, you have rice, right? The rice never raw, right? Okay. And noodles sometimes? Yeah. We had a soup today. Soup? Uh, oh, soup also okay. Soup, raw, vegetable, and rice. rice. Oh. It sounds good to me. Yeah. How, huh? Complete. Complete. Yeah. And protein also? No. Yes. Protein in the soup? Uh, in the soup, I'm not sure, but separate. Outside? Yeah. Yeah, already marinated. Yes. Oh, tastes good or not? Yes. The protein? Yes. Mm. And the raw soy sauce? <laughs> <laughs> it's all good, right? Yes. Truly, tell me the truth. You like? Yes. Uh huh. And how about the kitchen stuff? You feel okay like that? Yes, master. Yes. Yes, in which way? Yes. Tastes good or less time or less everything? everything? Yes. Uh huh. You see, uh, did you taste the carrot when it's raw? It's nicer, no? It's very fragrant, huh? You can buy others also, huh? For for change. Yes, yeah. Do you know all the models? They look beautiful and slim. <laughs> they eat <a> carrot. <laughs> yeah, they mostly they take just a couple of carrots with them in their back. It's busy, you know, and a bottle of water. So they keep themselves, you know, the skin look nice, and they keep themselves slim. Hmm? So maybe all of you become models <laughs> after a retreat, after you leave here. All become models, huh? Ooh, beauty, beauty. <laughs> yeah, wonderful. Any complaint? No. no. <laughs> Why are you so scared? <laughs> I'm only asking. I'm only asking because we're democratic, you know? Mm. Any complaint? <laughs> yes? No. 
Good, good. <laughs> Very good. Very good. I told you already, if you complain and you don't like the raw food, you don't have to eat the raw food. Just eat the rice, you know? <laughs> so, Master knows everything, huh? Hey, baby. Mm, who's a good boy? Oh, I have no more bone in my back for you. No, sorry about that. You ate the last one today, but you could sit with us. Hmm? Yeah? You want some of this? You? Want some of this? You're checking them, huh? Yeah. Anybody who is not okay, you tell me. <laughs> that one? Oh. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> what have you done at home? Here, babe. There. Yeah. What have you done? That guy, what did he do? Good love. <laughs> Oh, this one is salty, right? You know, the one has no no red strips. How come he don't want to eat? Okay, maybe he ate too too much today. He ate the whole fry stuff. I had only two pieces. Yeah. Okay, lay down. Okay, never mind, never mind. They're all criminals. <laughs> they're all bad. Yeah, they're not as pure as you. Don't criticize people. They all have something. Okay, I know already. All right, just just forgive them. Hmm. This guy also have problem. <laughs> it's okay, love. It's okay. It's okay. He wanted to shake your hand, but you didn't. You didn't extend your hand. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I do it again. He do it. Go and shake his hand again. Friendship. Huh? What happened now? Just extend your hand and maybe he shake your. Hand. Okay. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, you are friendly today. I am very proud of you. How about this guy? Is shake hand or not? Huh? Shake hand or not? Paul? Give him Paul now? No, he doesn't. Oh, okay, okay. Good, good. And that guy, he wanted to shake your hand and you just, yeah, just didn't do anything. Yeah. Shake hand now, Paul, Paul. Come on. Nah. He didn't, you didn't do it on time, so now. Too late, right? Uh, okay, too late. Okay, right. He's gone. Uh, every time I come here, I say, let's go to work, and he jump, jump out of his bed right away, or wherever. He jump out and he come. He likes it here. He likes to work. Like to listen to the good teaching, huh? Of the good masters, yeah? And then you'll be more smart and wiser, better looking, yeah? You're a good boy. You're a smart boy. Okay. Oh, okay then. You like the soup, guys. <laughs> they tell you eat raw. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Oh, I don't know if you're going to like this. Uh, maybe. Yeah, you like. Okay then. We read this no matter what. Huh? The Buddha's teaching always good. So any complaint at all, me? Any question? Any anything you need? Special? You know, bigger bed? Mm? <laughs> A bigger yard? No? No? You okay? Yes. All of you? Oh, oh, he likes you. Mm. I, uh, what a friendly dog! And everybody told me that you were a bad dog. <laughs> And you bite and all that. They were bad people. So much negative they talk about him, you know. <laughs> and he's such a beautiful, gentle boy. Hmm? And you gentle boy. Yeah. Uh, what happened? You having a cold? Uh, no. When it's cold, my sinus will come up. Mm. You better wear your mask. Hmm? You need a mask? Now wear it in case you have been something. And then you give us this present that we didn't like. <laughs> yeah, I told everybody I don't receive gifts. I don't want any gift, and they still give me. Yeah, one week long, <laughs> a one week gift, huh? running nose and everything. Yeah. Okay, today. I read you a story if you don't have any question or any complaint or any <clears throat> trouble. <laughs> yeah. This one is a story from the Buddha. The Buddha. He lived some more than 2,000 years ago. 
but his teaching is still good. So we have to thank the Buddha, Shakyamuni Buddha, and Reverend Anand for remembering all this and tell us. Mm? Mm. And all the people who wrote it down, and all the people who printed it, and all the people who translated it and put it on the internet for us. Yeah. May their marriage be a lot, a lot, a lot. Yeah. Okay. We should really thank the past masters, monks and nuns and scholars who have taken time to record what the Buddha is teaching after the masters and nirvana. And also for the past and present persons, lay or monks or nuns who have really dedicated themselves, sacrificed their time and precious health or under any difficult situation to translate this so that I can read it to you. And we have to thank them. And may they be blessed forever by all the Buddhas, past, present and future. May their merit be immense. May they be liberated forever. Thank you. According to Buddhism and the believer and the tradition, when you read sutra and all that, you have to put on incense, flower, you know, and bow to the sutra first and thank all the Buddhas and Bodhisattva in ten directions, all respectfully, before you read it, okay? And then you cover the sutra also with silk or, you know, beautiful cloth, and I just make it more popular, yeah, more easy, simple. And I apologize to all the Buddha. I say, if I've done something wrong, according to the tradition, my heart is full of respect. It's just that I cannot always do that. So please, all the sin, whatever I've done wrong, is all on me. At least other people, they hear the names of the Buddha, according to the Sutta, they will get benefit. Yes. One time, the Buddha stayed at the Savati, I guess, hold <laughs> What is it, baby? What is you like this toy? Or you want me to pet you? Is somebody who has nothing to do, pet him for me? Mm. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay, okay. I'm here. <laughs> That's what I do when I'm busy. <laughs> I just have to <laughs> use my foot. <laughs> he likes it, yeah. As long as, uh, you know, he got the attention, he likes it. Oh, very much like, yeah. He loves it here, my God, I'm so happy. You know, because if I don't let him come here, he would come and sit here, outside the gate, you know, and then he might get cold or something. Yeah. We are told, probably first I have heard, the wife of a certain householder ministered to the needs of a naked ascetic. Shh, don't tell the police. <laughs> he was naked, this, this, <laughs> this ascetic was <laughs> naked. Named Pathika, treating him as she would her own son, her own son. Of her nearest neighbors, those who went to hear the Buddha teach the Dharma, return, praising the virtues of the Buddhas in manifold ways, saying, Oh, how wonderful is the preaching of the Buddhas! When the woman heard her neighbors thus praise the Buddhas, she desired to go to the monastery and hear the Dharma herself. So she put the matter to the naked ascetic, saying, Noble sir, that's in India, yeah, 2,500 years ago. Don't copy, okay? I will not be responsible for anything that happened to you if you copy this Naga, a monk. Naga means uh, naked, okay? I've seen some of them in India. Women also. Women also. Uh, they use ash to cover the whole body to keep warm. You know, ash from the coal burning fire left over. They cover the whole body from face to 
to tow, and then they uh, also matted their hair, so it's easy to take care. Huh? Yeah, there's no need washing machine or anything like here. Huh? <laughs> yeah, how how simple? Hmm? How simple life can be if we don't have to need so many things. The less we need, nah, the less we are slavery for this material world, which is uh, really kind of abiding us very, very, very tightly. You know? We need clothes, we need food, and not just food, but cooked food. Huh? <laughs> um, simplify your life now. Huh? Most of the food you can eat raw, understand? Most of them. And whatever you cannot eat raw, then you can cook, okay? But uh, at home, you don't have to eat all raw because it probably will not feel like uh, satisfying because we used to with taste and, you know, cook food and warm. So you can have a soup, you know, together, but the rice, the rice is cooked, yeah, and noodles cook anyway. I cook very simple noodles. I just uh, boil a pot of water. I'll put the noodle already inside. I couldn't wait until it's boiled, and then let it boil, and then I turn, I turn off the heater, turn off the fire. And then just cover it, and then after a few minutes, the noodle is just as soft as if you leave it boiling. You understand? Just yeah. let it boil, cover it, put it aside. A few minutes later, ready to eat, soft, ready, truly cooked, like that. And uh, the rice nowadays, they have also like two minutes rice and stuff like that for busy people. Mm. But they have fully conserved the vitamin in it. I saw how they made them how they made these uh, two minutes or one minute rice. They cook in a sim- very special way, in a special <coughs> machine. What is a baby? What is the problem today? Huh? Mm. Oh, you just uh, emphasized my teaching, right? <laughs> my talk. Um, life could be more simple, you know? Yeah, like you buy those... Uh, Texture soy and the, the the food like you eat here, it was made from dry, conserved uh, protein, yeah, uh, vegetable texture protein. So all you do is just uh, soak it in uh, hot water or boiled water, yeah, cooked water, and then marinate it for a while. You know, even ten minutes good enough. And then you eat it, yeah, as if you cooked. And then you eat uh, that and with a salad, na? all kind of vegetable you can eat. Um, white radish, red radish, carrot, yeah, and even celery, lectures, of course, na? and even cabbage you can eat. Everything you can eat raw, you chop them fine or, or just chew them like that. It's delicious, really, huh? Or not? Yeah. yeah. And you won't miss too much because you have the warm rice and soup. Hmm? Mm-hmm. And if you can uh, forget the warm rice later, then you can soak these uh, cereals in water overnight, and then you mix with this uh, salad to eat. Yeah, that's good, no? Nah? Mm. <laughs> okay, okay. Something wrong, sweetheart? You are happy? Okay, okay, good then. That's not the way to express happiness. <laughs> Just smile, okay? <laughs> Clap your hand. <laughs> okay, baby, okay. Mm. Yeah, he's happy to see so many angel stuff. He can see better than we do. Mm. All the gods, yeah? <laughs> the gods and the angels, mm. they also have. Yeah. You invited your friend also, right? Good boy, good boy, yeah. Invisible friends, yeah. Mm. No, quiet, okay? Ma has to read on. Mm. Mm. If you really want to be more expert in raw food, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> then you look on the internet, okay? How to combine food. Yeah, it's good, it's good, baby, it's good. Okay, it's good, it's good. It's wonderful. You stay. Today you're strange, huh? You good here? 